All right, so I use Jamboard a lot during this remote instruction season, and uh, I love it. I absolutely love it. And what I'm finding myself doing is I'm in a rhythm where I'll do a little bit of teaching, and then I'm going to want students to practice pretty quickly. So it's pretty common for me during a single teaching session uh, with my students to use maybe three or even four Jamboards and push out another Jamboard <clears throat> for my students to be working together in breakout rooms. All right. So what I'm finding is since I'm I know I'm going to be doing a bunch of different Jamboards, uh, really it, they follow the same template. So take a look at what I've got here is I've, I've got this idea, this template of, of a Jamboard. It's just this classic thing. It indicates the group. This is where students are going to end it, write their names. Each kid writes their name. And so name of students here. Okay. Um, and the, the slides are labeled with the group name, group number. So whatever breakout room they are in indicates which uh, slide of the Jamboard they're going to work on, right? Pretty classic thing. Uh, but what I'm discovering is I'm just constantly making these Jamboards. So what I did uh, is I've come up with a hack, kind of a time-saving hack. It's, I'm sure other people have already discovered it. So what I did was, uh, first off, let me get to slide one. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, this URL way up at the top. I'm going to bookmark it. All right. So I'm using Chrome. So I just go like that. Boom. There's my there's my bookmark. I click it and it goes there. Right. Nothing, nothing particularly fancy. I click it and it sends me there. But I, I want to use this as a template. I don't want to keep opening the same one because once the kids use it, then it's used up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on that bookmark and I'm going to click edit. And then way right here, I'm going to erase where it says view, blah, 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 blah. And I'm just going to replace it with copy. And then I'm going to hit save. All right. So it still looks the same. Everything's all good. But here's what's going to happen when I click on it. Well, bam, it's going to want to make a copy. So what does this mean for me? So what this means is my workflow. Uh, let's get right here. So my workflow is pretty simple. I'm teaching and I'm generally using a Jamboard to do my teaching so that the students can see what's going on. The moment I know I want to push out a Jamboard, send the kids to breakout rooms to get working and practicing. What I'm going to do is check this out. I'm going to go, I'm going to open up my, my Chrome browser. I'm going to click on this. I'm going to make a copy. It immediately gives me a name. I'll do practice number one. Boom. And I am now ready with a full on Jamboard with labeled uh, slides. And all I have to do is share. Woohoo. Anyone with, in this case, I'm going to do anyone with a link. Largely, I would keep it in my own domain. So I would just choose my domain here, but I'm going to make it anyone with a link can edit. And I've copied that link and boom, I'm ready to push out and I'll let you see it, but I'm ready to push out the URL to this Jamboard, this new Jamboard, which is practice one. All right. And as I'm teaching, then I'm working and we're, we're going back and forth. And then, of course, if I need to do another practice problem, all I have to do is, again, go up to that top, click breakout practice, make a copy. And I now have practice number two, and I'm ready to share. Boom, I'm now ready to share it with my students because wha-bam, here is the new uh, URL for this Jamboard, which is for practice two. It's an easy way for me to quickly um, follow that cycle of doing a little teaching, letting them practice in a collaborative space, in breakout rooms on a collaborative Jamboard.